Hello and welcome. In this video, we will compare option buying with option selling and see what are the advantages and disadvantages of both. Alright. Now here I have two columns, one for option buying and one for option selling. We will see or learn about four major features of buying and selling and then compare them with each other. Okay. Now the first thing about option buying and selling is option buying has low probability of winning. Whereas option selling has high probability of winning. Okay. So this is the first difference between option buying and selling. Now how is this? So let me take an example. Let us say that today is June 5th. Today is June 5th. And a stock XYZ stock is trading at 1000 rupees. 1000 rupees. On the left side, I will write the details of buying and on the right side i will write the details of selling okay now let us say that i bought one lot of x y z option of this strike price okay currently it is trading at this price i believe that the price of the stock will go up and so i have bought 1100 call option okay ce call option and let us say that lot size is one i'm keeping the calculation simple and so i'm taking one all right and for this one lot of option the premium is 50 rupees and so this is what i pay to the seller okay this is what i pay to the seller so seller has sold me one lot of 1100 ce okay and this premium which i had paid is received by the seller okay so this is the money that the premium sorry this is the premium that the seller has received from me okay now on expiry on expiry let us say that the stock moved up and then it was trading at this price okay on expiry the stock price was this much it was 1000 rupees i felt that it will go up and so i had bought 1100 ce according to me the price went or price went according to my expectation or in the direction that i wanted and it stopped at 1130 or on expiry it was at 1130 rupees okay same goes for this also now what I will get back is 1130 the price on expiry minus the strike price minus the strike price which is 30 rupees. So this is my profit. This is my profit according to the calculation. Okay. 1130 1130 the price on expiry 1100 the strike price that I had bought. So I'll get 30 rupees, okay, 30 rupees. But then this is not actually the profit that I'm making because I had paid 50 rupees premium, correct? I had paid 50 rupees premium to buy the option. I'm getting back only 30 rupees. So in reality, I'm making a loss of 20 rupees. So even though the price went in the direction that I wanted, I wanted, and even though it ended above the strike price that I had bought, I'm making a loss here. Okay, I'm making a loss. Whereas in the case of seller, he is making a loss of 30 rupees because he is paying me back 30 rupees, correct? 1130 minus 1100, 30 rupees. 30 rupees is what the seller is paying me back. So this is his loss, correct? No, he had received 50 rupees premium from me, correct, when he sold the lot. So from that 50 rupees, he is giving me back 30 rupees. 
so then what he is making in reality is 20 rupees profit even though even though the price moved against his direction or in the opposite direction of seller he was able to make a profit he was able to make a profit correct whereas in the case of buyer my case even though the stock went in my expected direction i was i made a loss here correct so the probability of winning is less here probability of winning is more here okay so what i mean to say is what i mean to say is the stock was trading at 1000 rupees correct stock was trading at 1000 rupees so in the market what can happen the price can move drastically down let us say i had bought call option if the price moves drastically down i am making a loss if the price moves slightly down i am making a loss if the price moves sideways i make a loss if price moves slightly up like what we saw in the example i still make a loss so if i am a buyer i make profit only when the price moves drastically up drastically up okay so this is my situation whereas in seller situation he has sold me 1100 call option correct the stock was trading at 1000 rupees if it goes down seller makes a profit if it goes down slightly seller makes a profit if it goes down sideways the seller makes a profit if it goes down slightly up to he makes a profit correct like what we saw in the example only when the price moves drastically higher he makes a loss so see the difference here four conditions loss one is profit in the case of buyer four conditions profit one is loss in the case of a seller all right so this is how the probability of winning is more if you are a seller and less if you are a buyer all right so this was the example for call option the opposite is true for put option too okay so i won't take that example and explain it because it is repetitive all right yes so the probability of winning is low if you are a buyer high if you are a seller now the question comes if that is so why don't everyone become why doesn't everyone become a seller all right that is because seller seller has the chance of unlimited loss whereas his profit is limited to the premium that he obtains from the buyer whereas if you are a buyer your loss is limited to the premium that you are paying to the seller and your profit is unlimited okay so this premium you are paying at the beginning when you buy the option and that is done you are done okay once you buy the option it is done whereas here whereas here the chances of loss increasing day by day is more okay day by day is more so if you do not have a proper stop loss you will lose your entire life savings if you go for option selling okay so limited profit unlimited loss limited loss unlimited profit how is this we have seen this in our previous videos okay i won't get into it once again next is capital required for buying is less whereas capital required for selling is more now let us see that okay so this is from zeroda this is from zeroda and if you see i have 
Asian Paints June 3200 call option. 200 is the lot size. The price is 65. And if that is the case, the amount or the premium that I need to pay is 13,000 rupees, which is this into this. Okay. If I am a buyer, I need to have only this much in my account. Only this much in my account. Okay. Whereas if I am a seller, I need to have this much money in my account or I need this much money to sell the same one lot in the market. Okay. Now the question comes why? Why? All right. That, that is because as I have explained, option seller carries unlimited risk, unlimited risk. Meaning, he may lose a lot of money today itself. He's, he sells an option and uh, let us say he sells an option at uh, 10 a.m. in the morning. And before 3 p.m. itself, he may lose 50,000 rupees. Now, what if the seller runs away without paying 50,000? What is the guarantee that he will pay the loss? Correct? There is no guarantee here. And for that reason, he has to pay a huge margin as a guarantee. Okay. Uh, it is called as collateral. We will not go into deep in this topic. It is not required also for uh, trading. But know that the margin requirement for option selling is more. This acts as a guarantee. Whereas this, this is all you need to buy one lot of option. Okay. So this is for selling. All right. So the capital required for buying is more, selling is, sorry, buying is less, selling is more. Now, you can reduce the money required to sell options by hedging. Okay. We have learned about hedging, correct? We can hedge and reduce this. So we can bring it down till uh, 50, 60,000 rupees. So that is possible, but then hedging needs a lot of learning. All right. So only when you know to hedge properly, we can, you can do that. Otherwise, you need to have this full amount to sell a lot of option. Okay. And then the final and a major thing that differentiates buying and selling is time decay or theta decay. Theta decay or time decay acts against the buyer. Day by day, the price of an option goes on decreasing, goes on decreasing. And so, the chances of buyer winning reduces day by day if he holds the option. Whereas theta decay helps the seller as the price of an option goes on decreasing day by day, the seller keeps on making profit day by day if he holds the option. Okay. I have explained about theta decay in one of my videos. All right. So this is a major factor here. This is a major factor here. All right. So these, these four are the main differences between buying and selling. Of course, there are more, but I have, I have written only four here. Okay. Now, the example that I gave you for low probability of winning and high probability of winning, that is by considering if the option expires. Okay. Option expires. Of course, if you buy today, and then if the premium increases, you can sell it tomorrow or if it decreases, you can book your loss today. Meaning before expiry itself, you can square off your position. I gave you the example taking into consideration that the option expires. All right. So I want to clear that too. I hope it is clear. I hope it is clear. So buying is done by beginners because they are new to the market. They are new to the market. They have less capital and less knowledge of theta decay 
and also since they are buyers they will be in greed so they would like to go for unlimited profit and so they go for option buying whereas if your capital is more and if you know how to use theta decay as a as a favor to you then you go for selling of course there are many things many things to be considered by buying or selling i am keeping it to simple all right yes i hope this is clear that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and thank you for watching